Do you love 80s shred machines? This BC Rich Gunslinger is probably right up your alley. They don't make them anymore. You can't get them anymore. But we're going to put this baby to its paces right here on Geargasms. Now before I forget kids, I just wanted to point out this rockin' t-shirt. I love it. 27 years ago this week, Freddie Mercury passed away. He left us too soon. Bohemian Rhapsody is the new big film at the theaters. This video has nothing to do with Queen. I'm just simply trying to cash in on the renewed interest in Queen right now, just for some views. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your humble host, Alan Barnes. This week we're going to be going down memory lane, returning to the 80s with a shred machine from BC Rich. This puppy came out in 2010. It was gone almost as soon as it got back. It was as it was specced in the 80s, which meant that it was a basswood body, 25 and a half inch Strat scale, and it had a DiMarzio Super Distortion pickup in it. Single volume, no tone, no BS. Well, a few years into the reissue, they decided to try and reduce the price even more, and they got rid of the DiMarzio, and they started putting a Seymour Duncan, Duncan-designed pickup in there. This particular Duncan design was what came standard on this guitar when I got it, and I'll show you a picture of the before and after of, of how it looked when I got it, and then, of course, I've customized it and how it looks now. <laughs> The first order of business for me, playing this guitar, I love the feel of the neck. The radius was really great. It's it's big enough. It's not Ibanez shred or thin, but it, it just has an amazing feel, a very smooth finish on the back. The tuners were great, stayed in tune great. It's got a Floyd Rose 1000 series tremolo, which is the entry level Floyd, but I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I didn't like the Duncan designed pickup. I don't like the modern Duncan design. Regular Seymour Duncan core model pickups are amazing. I decided this guitar might look even more cool in more 80s if I took a Jason Becker turn. Carvin uh, Kiesel Guitars had just re-released the Becker Numbers guitar, but they're online companies that sell decals. I wasn't sure how the decals would play across. Would they feel stickery? Would you feel a seam? I don't know how they do it but it just lays flat, they never wrinkle, they never come up. I don't, I can scrub the, the neck, I mean not with sandpaper or anything, but I can, I can, I can give it a good worsen. If you want to get a set of these and put them on your guitar, if you're doing a lot of tabs, if you're watching a lot of YouTube videos, they almost always reference things in terms of numbers. Put your third string on the seventh fret, of the third finger of the wah, 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 and you're like, what? Too many numbers. But if you've got numbers on the neck already, you're halfway there. Then all you have to worry about is your third finger on the third string on a seventh fret. For you kids that are stupid about math, maybe guitar's not for you. Maybe you wanna like pick up a hammer and start nailing. And what you're gonna be nailing is the lid to the coffin of your musical aspirations because Music is math, and math is music. But we can make it easier for us. Calculators make people who are not good with math good with math. Think of this as a calculator for your fretboard. You got your numbers? One, three, five, seven, nine. And I find it's extremely helpful when you're thinking, okay, somebody's telling you the 14th fret on the first string, and oh, lordy, there it is, because you can see 15 right there. If you're not good with math, this only goes part of the way. Maybe they make a set for really slow people where it has two, four, six. See how I'm struggling? I'm slow. Eight, ten, eleven. That's a prime number. Math fact. Can't recommend doing this to a guitar highly enough. I can't remember the exact vendor I got these from, but you can find them on the Google. If you type in the Google and you search fretboard decals, I'm sure it'll take you there. Don't expect me to know everything. I can't spoon feed you kids. Do I remember exactly how much they were? No, I don't. They were like maybe 10 bucks-ish. Affordable. All right, well the second thing I did was I had to get rid of the pickup. It was super easy to do. Not a whole lot of wiring. There's no switches, there's just a volume knob. I put the DiMarzio Tone Zone in there. 
Now I didn't do the super distortion only because I already had that in another guitar and I just wanted to try something different. So I thought it might be fun with the tone zone and I wasn't disappointed. It's an amazing pickup. <laughs> Now people have complained about audio in YouTube videos, just in general, not so much at me. I'm camera mic'd right now, and you're hearing an amp behind me, but for some people that's not good enough. They want to hear how it sounds close mic through the amp, they want to hear how it sounds direct into your DAW, which may or may not sound like the real guitar sounds. They can't judge it. If it's room mic, they say they click away immediately. Well, they're probably watching on their Cricut wireless burner phones with crappy little speakers in them. That's not going to tell you how a guitar is going to sound, but we'll play the game. I'll throw those guys a bone. We'll do some more professional audio here so they can listen to it on those horrible iPhone earbuds or maybe their laptop with its tiny little tin can Coke can speakers. You people make me work. I don't like to work. You make things hard. But anyway, here's the room. Stays in tune, does all the dive bomby things. Don't hate the Floyd Rose 1000. It's a decent tremolo. <laughs>
Well, kids, as we've all seen and heard, this guitar sounds great, it plays great, it looks great, it's a lot of fun. It can take you back to those hazy, crazy, not so lazy days of the 80s and the Sunset Strip where men dress like women and women chase them. The addition of the pickup was certainly an upgrade. The numbers on the neck are a lot of fun. They help with the math. They certainly help me. If you get a chance to grab one of these things used, I highly recommend you do so. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, click the big thumbs down button. We're cool with that. Leave some comments. Leave some criticisms. Leave some compliments. Leave some death threats. Leave some cries for help. We like comments here. We'll answer any questions you have. But whatever you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're always going to have fresh new content for you kids right here on Geargasms.